The Pablo series of drones are pretty unique with a removable canopy that can be transferred from one drone to the next. Now, with the release of the Pablo Femto and the O4 Air unit, there was a lot of questions talking about, can I actually transfer this canopy to other drones? Well, the answer is yes and no. Well, maybe. So right here we have the Pablo Femto and this canopy can be transferred to a few drones, including the Pablo Pico, the Pablo 20, but not the Pablo 20 Pro. So let's say goodbye to this one. See ya. So now the question is, which drone do we transfer this canopy to? Now the Pavo Pico is pretty cool. It was kind of sluggish with the O3 air unit on here. So I do suspect it's gonna fly a little bit better with the O4 air unit on here. But what I really wanna see is this Pavo 20 here with a 3S battery. Now this has bigger propellers and ducts. And this thing here flew pretty well, surprisingly actually. And uh, I think it's gonna benefit the most from this lighter canopy on here. So let's try to transfer the canopy from the Femto and see if it fits on the actual Pavo 20. See you later, Pico. Now the first thing here is you wanna take off the old canopy. This one here is a different design, designed specifically for the O3 air unit. I have my driver here and the holes actually match up. So it's gonna be a pretty simple install here. I think we're good to go, sweet. Now the first thing I see here was gonna be an issue is that this DJI cable here that goes to the VTX, not only is it short, it's also in the wrong location. So as you can see here on the Femto, it's actually on the right side. So all the DJI O4 air unit has the plug on the right side versus the back like the O3. Now there is a cable here included with the Femto, but I do think it's too short. Plus it's kind of buried in here. I do think the solution is gonna be using the actual cable that came with the DJI O4 air unit. It's a little bit longer and I'm sure it can reach. Now I just have to remove it right here. I'm just gonna to try to unplug it. I have access to it right there, boom. And let's see if I can plug it in. Okay, I got it through. I think we have a better chance now. All right, let's see if I can, pl <laughs> let's see if I can plug this in now. That's gonna be the tough part. That should be at the bottom, okay. All right. Okay, cool. Now we have our cable to the side. It's as easy as just transferring this canopy to the Pavo 20. And the big thing here is hopefully these things line up, right? Let's see if they line up. I'm gonna use the exact same bolts that's in the Pavo 20 and see if it threads through. It should. All the bolts off, this canopy can come off and I can unplug the harness from the O4. There it is. The layout should be very similar. I have the harness to the right, harness to the right. So I like to plug it in first and then line the holes up after. Let's see here. That plugged in pretty easily. And now all I have to do is just line up these holes and hopefully they line up. I think they should. And let's tighten these bolts down. I'll do a few. <laughs> I was about to say something, maybe it's too easy, uh, but we'll find it here <laughs> very shortly if it works. And there it is. That was pretty easy. That took like what, a few minutes, two, three minutes. And this thing is significantly lighter now. Um, I have the ability to put a 3S battery in here. It looks so much smaller, but compared to the old canopy, you can see how much larger the older canopy was, but this thing looks sleek, guys. I'm excited to try this out. So I'm gonna go on the computer here, make sure my OSD is in the right place since this was a previous drone and then take it for a flight. And then I'll let you know how this thing flies with this O4 on here.
so we're back from the test flight and the Pavo 20 with the Pavo Femto Canopy and the O4 air unit. It worked pretty good, guys. Surprisingly really good. Now, the flight characteristics on this drone is pretty good from the previous reviews. So nothing here has really changed. This thing has really good flight characteristics. I never had any gripes or qualms with this drone overall. Now, this thing here is significantly better because it's so much lighter. So everything is smoother. It feels so much more responsive. And you can do a lot more acro maneuvers with this as well. Now, because of this uh, decrease in weight, I also got increase in performance and efficiency. So now, I don't know what the previous flight times were, but this one here was averaging around six minutes, over six minutes of flight time doing mixed flying. So if you flew this thing in a more conservative way, doing just some cinematic flying, I'm sure you can get around six and a half, maybe even seven minutes of flying with the recommended 553S batteries. Having said that, let's weigh this right now uh, and see how much it weighs compared to the original and let's see how much it weighs so 115 grams with the battery and i guess since you may not be using this battery let's weigh it without the battery and 73 grams without the battery so that's not bad considering this is a 3s drone two inch propellers this thing is pretty cool so let me know what you think about the image is it good was it acceptable Having said that guys, the image on here was really smooth and uh, jello free and it's kind of bright outside. Now, having said that, I want to say that I did change the actual mount on this drone right here. Although this is the same canopy from the Femto, I decided to go with a newer damping system. I'm using the same system, but a new version. I have some extras right here, some spares from Beta FPV. And this includes everything to actually mount an for air unit camera into a traditional drone you have the front and the back and then you have your small little gummies right here and instead of using the old one which i don't see it oh here it is here's the old one this is the old one i use on the pavo femto i said you know what let's just change this whole thing out let's just use some new hardware and see how it looks and guys the image looks pretty good stabilization works pretty well in gyro flow and yeah, I was just surprised that there wasn't jello or much jello in the image. So I'm pleased to report that. Now, the only thing that's different and is kind of a compromise compared to the original Pavo 20 is the field of view on this one is a little bit more narrow. Instead of having the 155 degrees, you do have just 117. And when you stabilize it, it crops in just a little bit more. So um, that's one compromise with the setup here, but it's not a big compromise. And as you can see with the unstabilized footage, you still have a decent field of view, especially if using the four by three aspect ratio. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think about the image overall. Is this something you're gonna do? I do think it's beneficial, guys. If you have this, and I know a lot of guys did buy the Pavo 20 initially because it was the drone right after the Pico. And a lot of guys wanted to try this out. If you do have the Pavo 20, then you can just buy this canopy and just transfer the O4 air unit in it and see how it goes. Let me know in the comment section if you're interested in this. I'll leave links to all this stuff as well down below, including the canopy, these uh, camera mounts, as well as the O4 Air unit. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.